I sat down and had a pretty frank discussion with Dr. Husheng Amiramandi, who is on the NSA's watch list. They're looking at his emails, and we just found that out through newly released documents from the NSA whistleblower, Edward Snowden. Everything I have done has been in the best interest of the United States of America. Okay, absolutely not a single statement, single action that I have taken that would even come close to, a, to anything harming the American interests. He's talked with us when he was running for president of Iran last year, and he's been involved in U.S. diplomacy for almost 40 years. Now, he's a dual citizen. He's a citizen of the U.S. and of Iran. He said his main concern is that his Rutgers email is on that list. So whoever was looking into this could see all the emails of his students and of other Rutgers faculty members. Even if the email had been read, thanks God, there is nothing in those emails that would harm them. I know that there is nothing in those emails and in those papers. They were very regular emails and regular you know, academic papers. Uh, that doesn't really reduce the government's responsibility. He says he came from a dictatorship. He fled that because it was oppressive and invasive. Now he's here, and we're the freest country on the planet. So he didn't expect this mm -hmm. from our government, but he's not surprised. If those leaks, those Edward Snowden leaks, tell us anything at all, it's that not just the professor's emails are being read and watched, it's that yours are and yours are and so are mine. Everything we send in and out of here on Gmail gets watched by the NSA. That's what those leaks say. Talk, no, it's you true. Can't, you can't make that kind of a um, broad well, brush statement. I, I, have no. them I actually, actually I don't expect leaked. my emails it's are being read by the NSA. It's a fact. Your emails are being read just like his are. Uh, you know what? I, I, I think that's an outlandish statement. I've worked with the Foreign Service, and he's exactly the kind of person they should be keeping an eye on because of his dual citizenship. He's actually weighed in. Back in November, when the U.S. was in foreign policy and foreign talks with Iran to stop their nuclear program, and he weighed in on that. That's one of Absolutely. our key That's foreign policy issues, Iran's nuclear Do program. That is definitely one of his strengths. They, they should, should be keeping an eye on Bill, I don't want to go down a rabbit hole in this. I want to discuss the very specific issue of whether or not the professor should be outraged, Bill. I think that we're going Tara. down the wrong path. I mean, there's a difference between whether or not something is right and whether or not something is necessary. Like to sit there and read anybody's mails and violate their policy or violate their privacy is probably wrong. But would our intelligence community be doing their job if they weren't looking into somebody who has that level of ties to Iran? And, you know, and if something happened, how many of us would be sitting back saying, how come you never took a look at this person mm -hmm. who's that connected to a potential enemy? True, but also a point that he rose was uh, they've been spending a lot of time watching him, yet they missed ISIS rise up in the Middle East all of a sudden. They missed the bombers in Boston. So, I mean, is this really but doing its point, job? Are they spending too much time on but him? But that point that he made is an argument for more surveillance. I, uh, I wonder if the world would be different if we had been reading Mohammed Atta's emails.